Hello, my name is Matt and I work for Mock Motion. As a potential customer of Mock Motion, you may want to know what to expect when you do business or purchase a product from Mock Motion. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to show you exactly what you can count on when you do business with us. Mock Motion is a company based in Missouri and was founded on basic core values. Our number one core value is to have integrity in everything that we do. It is our goal for our integrity to be evident from the first time a potential customer calls us to the day they first use our products and beyond. This control system could be configured with machine-specific software and hardware for milling machines, lays, CNC routers, plasma and oxyfuel tables, water jets, OD-ID surface grinders, and custom automated machines. When ordering products for Mock Motion, this is how you can expect to receive them. Every product that we sell will be expertly packaged and is fully tested before it leaves our facility. Begin your installation by unpacking all components. Please remove the manuals and study them fully. Here is an example of an electrical enclosure as it would ship from our facility. You can open the enclosure and get an idea of what kind of components that we sell. This is our Apollo 3 motion controller. The rest of the components include contactor, 24 volt power supply, wiring bus, main door switch, fuses, relays, and in this case there is a variable frequency drive. The variable frequency drive can be used for controlling the spindle RPM on different machines and also our servo drives, in this case they're Tico servo drives. The next step will be to wire in the servo motors and spindle motor. We'll start by taking the servo motor cables out of the bag and routing them to the electrical enclosure. Once your servo motor has been connected, you will want to connect the cables at the drive. As you can see, Mock Motion has prepared your cables for a plug and play application. Everything is clearly labeled and ready for installation. When purchasing a Mock Motion control system, one of our options is the electrical cabinet. In this case, this is a pre-wired electrical cabinet that came from us. This is an option. You do not have to do this with your control system. But if you reuse your electrical cabinet on your machine, you'll want it to look something similar to this. Let's assume this is your spindle motor and now we need to connect it to the variable frequency drive in the electrical cabinet. Open the electrical cabinet and remove the cover from the variable frequency drive. In this case we have a three phase motor, so we need to know L1, L2, and L3 and ground. Now we have our X15-250 control head and arm kit. We'll now open those so you can know what they look like. All right, here is the example of our arm kit once it has been assembled. Standard, the upright arm comes in a 20 inch length. 
and the horizontal arm comes in a 40 inch length. They can be trimmed to whatever length you desire and then we also offer a table mount or a wall mount base. As you can see, there's a corner bracket and we already have our wires routed for the control head. Now we will open the X15-250 control head. Here is the X15-250 accessory pack. In the accessory pack you will find necessary cables, software, power cable, key, and backup software. Now on the bench we have your brand new X15-250 mop motion control. We will now use the arm hardware mounting kit to mount the control head to the arm. Now that you have the X15-250 control head mounted, you'll want to go to the back side of the control and remove the access panel. With the access panel removed, we will now connect the e-stop 24 volt motion controller communication cable and the 110 volt power supply wires to the PC. The next step will be to open the electrical enclosure, route the control wires into the electrical enclosure, then connect the 110 volt power to the PC. Now remove the cover to the Apollo 3 motion controller and make your connections. The next step will be to wire in the 230 volt power for the electrical cabinet. After making the connections at the Apollo 3 motion controller and making the main power connections for the electrical cabinet, we'll close the cabinet and power it on. Now we will want to insert our barrel key into the control start switch and rotate to turn on the control. Next, click on the mill icon on the screen. Once Mach 3 loads, you will want to press the reset button and home the machine. Now that we have the control powered up, the CNC software loaded, we've honed the machine, now we will jog the axes to verify motion. And indeed, all three axes have motion. The next step for this example would be to choose conversational programming. In this case, we have two different methods of choosing. We can use the ball mouse 
to click on the conversational programming icon, or in this case, this is a touch screen. Once inside the conversational programming, you'll want to select your material and continue. For today's example, we'll choose a circular hole pattern. Here we have our feeds and speeds and tool bit selection. Here we have our location of holes, center of the hole, circle diameter, start angle, traverse height, rapid height, peck depth, hole depth, etc. This is all pre-configured, so I will post the code. Exit the conversational program. As you can see, I now have a circular hole pattern. Now I go to the tool pass screen. Here you can see the bolt hole circle, bolt circle pattern. We are now ready to run the part. Hit cycle start. As you can see, the G code calls for a tool change. Hit cycle start again. For this example, I use the touch screen to select a cycle start. You have three different options with this control. You can use the cycle start, cycle stop keys on the operator panel, or you can use the touch screen, or you can use the ball mouse. In this case, I'll use the operator panel to stop the feed. So I have depressed the feed hold button. Now I'll press cycle start. With our X15-250 CNC control, we have standard a large 17-inch display, real-time virtual toolpath display. We also have conversational options, and you can use MDI to manually enter G-code, or you can transfer G-code via USB stick, Ethernet cable, or we even have a wireless option. This control comes with a flip-down keyboard tray, and as you can see, a USB port is located on the side of the flip-down keyboard tray. Our customers really enjoy the ease of file transfer via USB stick. For our X15-250 control, this is our standard operator panel. As you can see, clearly marked jog keys, axis selector switch, continuous jog and step jog switch, feed rate override switch, emergency stop, cycle start, and feed hold buttons. Our X15-250 control comes standard with 120 gig solid state hard drive, virtually unlimited part file storage as a standard feature, and easy to use window style navigation. Other standard features include 255 work fixture offsets and 255 tool offsets at no extra charge. All Mop Motion components come with a one year warranty also, the control has tool cutter comp standard. Options for the X15-250 control include touch screen, conversational programming, handheld operator pendant with MPG, axis selector switch, and step jog selector switch. Other very popular options for the X15-250 control include pre-wired electrical cabinet, variable frequency drives for spindle motor speed control, and with tool changer machines, a PLC for tool changer control. For today's example, we have chosen Tico Servo Drives, which is our house brand. We are the North American distributor for Tico Servo Motors and Drives. We also can provide Yaskawa Servo Motors and Drives, Mitsubishi Servo Motors and Drives. Mop Motion can supply servo sizes in all ranges, from a 400 watt up to a 40 kilowatt from a desktop size machine up to a huge gantry style machine. All Mop Motion products are shipped pre-tested and pre-configured for your application. We have verified that all products function as a unit before we ship them. Typically all that remains once you receive our products are basic machine setup parameters. This would include steps per revolution, homing directions, and axis orientation. Every Mock Motion product is supported for life 100% at no cost. 
During the setup process, we assist you via telephone, or if you can get internet access to our control system, we can walk you through the setup process step by step, real time on the control. All Mop Motion products are shipped from our facility pre-tested and configured for your application. Much of the basic setup has already been done when you receive a control system from Mock Motion. Typically, all that remains for you, the customer, to do is finalize the setup of your control system. Normally, to complete the setup, you will need to define your axes directions, positive or negative, calculate your steps per revolution, set up limit switches, etc. Our support team assists all Mock Motion customers through this setup process via telephone. With internet access to the control unit, we can log into our control real time and walk you through this process, step by step. Mock Motion supports everything we sell 100% at no cost to our customers. Let's talk about the five main reasons that our customers choose to purchase from Mock Motion. One of the top reasons is that we are a USA based company. We sell, support, and service all of our products right here from Missouri. Probably one of the highest reasons is our free lifetime support. We do not charge our customers for support after the sale. When they call us, we help them, period. Our control systems provide a low cost, low long-term maintenance control solution. All of Mop Motion products are designed around anti-proprietary open architecture solutions. We can interface to many different products, including Yaskawa, Mitsubishi, Tico, etc. All of Mock Motion products are easy to install and operate. That concludes our control system overview. Please feel free to contact us or visit our facility for a hands on demonstration of our equipment. Please feel free to contact us or visit our facility for a tour or hands on demonstration of our control systems. Let us tailor a control system solution to fit your needs. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to visit mockmotion.com for more videos.